Informed. Outspoken. Wild. Fearless. This is the Fantasy Football Dudes Podcast. What is up, my dudes? This is Trent with the Fantasy Football Dudes Podcast. I am joined by Phil and Jordan. It is Super Bowl week. We are excited here for some football. Before we get all that news, we are going to huddle up, uh, you know, kind of talk about, you know, just kind of recap what we've been up to. Then we'll get into some news and notes, game predictions, and then our favorite, one of our favorite episodes of the year, our Super Bowl prop show. There will be a link in the description if you want to download these Super Bowl props to take your Super Bowl party to the next level, guys. So you just might. And to talk, speaking about taking the next level, this episode is brought to you by our friends over at Sleeper. They will have a lot of dynamic payouts this Sunday's for this Sunday's big game, basketball, all sorts of stuff. Hover Sleeper, enter promo code DUDES100, and I believe they will match you up to $500, guys. So go over there. And when you're over there, you know, check it out and take your whole fantasy league over there as well. But before we get into this show, let's huddle up with my favorite dudes, Jordan and Phil. Uh, me and Phil are matching right now. That's kind of embarrassing. Check us out over on YouTube, guys, at TFF Dudes. Uh, Hit the subscribe button. It really helps us out. And we got our table of contents on the right side of our YouTube video. So, uh, if Jordan, you all fired up about basketball again? Or are you doing okay? I'm all right. Uh, you know, we didn't play today. So we played yesterday, but how'd that go? Uh, varsity lost on a buzzer beater three. So. Oh, oh, Jordan. No. Did you at least but, get teed up? No, uh, JV, we pretty much, we got to take care of business tomorrow night, but pretty much won a league championship. So that was good. Nice, nice, nice. Taking care of uh, bus- business, TCB. Did you, uh, yeah. did you, are you playing at home? No, we're away both, both games this week. Thing. Bummer. Bummer. And then playoffs starts, huh? Playoffs start next week. Let's go. Nice. Um, our last week of football, guys. So, you know, we'll still be coming to you every single week here for this off season. Phil, I hardly recognized you without your Apple Vision glasses. So I'm glad to see you're doing okay. You know, Phil's been wearing those things, driving and all kinds of stuff. I'm like, those can't be good for your eyes, buddy. But you know, here we are. Phil thinks they're the greatest thing in the world. I'm afraid. Jordan's gonna like get a pair of those. He won't need, you know, he'll be he'll be able to sell five of his TVs and he can just live in a van and watch football and basketball the rest of his life. But those That's things true. do look pretty cool, Phil. I'm glad you have them. Lots of people live in vans these days now, Trent. I don't know why you're trying to put Jordan down by that. That's like a pretty common practice in the US of A these days. Number one, the housing market is in the toilet. Number two, people like the functionality of being able to travel, see their friends, go across the nation. I know you love just sticking around, you know having smokeless fire pits in your back garage but i know jordan might be interested in just seeing the seeing the country seeing the world so if you decide jordan to live in your uh in a bus <laughs> and uh you have those goggles and you don't need three tv anymore tvs anymore i will applaud it i will celebrate it uh you will be missed on the pod although i think you probably could do it virtually so <laughs> anyhow uh, what are these? I don't even know what these things are. I've seen them on social media, but is it like, can you see, you can't see outside of those glasses, right? No, you can. So you can like go grocery shopping and like your grocery list, you see it. Like say I look to my left, I can see like the milk down the aisle. But if I look to my right, my grocery list is like virtually on the grocery aisle. It's like, you know that's like things, it's like things in the movies, right? Where they'd be like, yeah, it, it like, but it's like, actual their vision to like tap things and it will like yeah it's like yeah that's kind of cool actually like you're like you know like if you ever see those like uh you know what is it like top gun maverick where it's like you have like the heat seeking missile and it's like beep, beep, beep. so like when you have your grocery list like yeah you like in there and you're like okay i'm gonna go get the milk oh my goodness we have a live we have just like a, a eye view of seth he somehow found the link and he is live seth hello what is that guys seth is- yeah, Seth checking in here from uh, I don't know where he's at. Looks like he's trading pins. I'm at Disneyland. I'm on King Arthur Carousel. It is currently dumping outside, and that is why I've been on this ride for the second time in a row. I'm not getting off until it stops raining. Disneyland <laughs> closes at ten. Here's my daughter. <laughs> Disneyland closes at ten. I'm staying on this thing until it stops raining. So it's yeah. been fun. I'm kind of bummed I'm missing the Super Bowl prop show. But just so you know, I hate the Chiefs, but I also hate the Niners more. So go Niners. I mean, go Chiefs. I don't care. I hope they both lose. 
Um, that's not going to happen. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to side with Jordan here with the Chiefs. I never thought I'd say this. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes, you're good, but you're not that good. You're not going to beat Brock Purdy this time. Brock Purdy, you're not that good either, but you better be good enough to beat Patrick Mahomes. So there you go. <laughs> so who are, you going for? who are you going for? I, I'm going for the Chiefs, but honestly, I don't want either of them. <laughs> That it's, was the most the most middle, it's the most on the fence take I've ever had because I ha- absolutely <laughs> hate both these teams. But Seth, Seth, don't you want Jordan to do the hot chip challenge? Don't you want Jordan to do the hot chip challenge? Yeah, that would be the only upside of the Niners winning, right? So that that's that's the only upside, and I guess the only upside of the Chiefs winning is me the Niners losing. I guess I guess that's the only thing. So, Seth, There's how many times, listener? A faithful listener, yeah, on the carousel. Seth, That's kind of cool. Seth, That's how many special. times have you been confused for Peter Pan while you've been there? Have you been confused by Peter Pan since you've been there? It's all, it's I've all been the on tight. Peter Pan twice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I've also, Hopefully the ride right. I've written the most, I've done Buzz Lightyear about five times. And this last time, I got the highest score you could ever get, a Galactic Hero. So that's nines all the way across the board over a million points just let's just say i got stuck at the right time the ride <laughs> shut down at the right time and i was just racking up points for about 30 seconds so it's perfect uh, okay right. well this well, has been a very unique huddle good seeing you yep. man all Great right guys you. Good yeah good seeing Thank you peter you. pan all right bye petri well that would call that, him petri pan uh, yeah, he, that he kind of looks like Peter Pan. You're right. That's that's what I was saying. And it's that was an experience like I have never been that close to Seth's face. And frankly, I never want to be that close again. If I'm being completely honest. Yeah. like the guy has no like, I don't care if I you can't like he's talking like he needs to hear us like he needs to hear himself talking. I don't know if you guys caught that. I love Seth. Love the guy. But the guy was talking into his phone like he was also trying to hear the audio come out oh, of it, which was frankly he, just strange. Yeah, he's definitely one of those guys that like talks on speakerphone at the airport. And it's like, dude, I don't care about your conversation. But yeah, whatever. I, I don't know. Like, uh, yeah, you can pray for it. the guy. Pray for the yeah, guy. Pray, <laughs> like, lots of prayers. You know, he's a little socially awkward, but that's okay. I, I don't know where to go with this. I didn't think Seth was going to hop on that quick. But, uh, you know, and we all know who he's going for. Like, he said, yeah, yeah. I think he said Chiefs, but I'm not quite sure. He's like, Brock Purdy, you better be good enough to beat Patrick Mahomes. Uh, so I think we can say he's going for the Chiefs. He said that twice, but then he also gave us other, like maybe feelings or vibes. I know you're Trent, you're a vibes guy. You go off a lot of vibes on who he's going for. So I think it's the Chiefs, right, Jordan? Yeah, he- I took it as Chiefs. I think he said Chiefs twice and Niners once, so I'll go Chiefs. Yeah, and then he also said uh, they hit a faithful listener behind him that looked like the guy that, you know, from Curious George that, you know, walks around (laughs) with the monkey. You know, the guy's in solid (laughs) yellow like a a monkey trainer. So that's kind of cool. But, yeah, hey, the freaks come out at night, night, apparently, even at Disneyland. So, uh, you know, those adult Probably especially at Disneyland. And also, does Disneyland close at 10 p.m. because it's raining? I thought it usually closes after that. That was at midnight. Uh, No, 10 Tins about standard, you know, fireworks show and stuff like that. Probably no fireworks tonight. Is it not? The no, I thought they closed at midnight, Trent. On, I think it depends. Maybe on the weekends. I don't know if they do on. Or is it Wednesday summer? Is it like there's summer hours or something? Yeah, I think I think they have different hours. I think it varies. It is dumping buckets of water over here in California, and I'm glad Seth's in Disneyland enjoying that. So let's I, see. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, what time does Disneyland usually close? It is, I also been Disneyland like it's twice. It's 8 p.m. to years, midnight, so. depending on the day of the week, season, weekdays, and off peak seasons tend to have shorter operating hours with the park closing as early as 8 p.m. Wow, that's crazy. Yep. Thank you for that info, Phil. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, well, hey, I will say here's the thing Seth basically pulled like a Willie Beeman, and you guys may not know that reference. That's an any given Sunday reference. I know, Trent, you've never seen that movie. Jordan, I bet you have, where it's like, you know, the huddle's kind of like dying down. And then we just get some Yahoo coming off the sideline, just amping us all up. Like I, I feel yeah. amped up after Seth visited yeah. us, right? Yeah. That was like equivalent to a streaker is basically what just happened on this pod. <laughs> that was the, that was the audio visual of a streaker, basically what just happened to us. So thanks for that, Seth. Uh, we will miss you. We'll see you next week. Uh, Not miss you. We, we definitely don't miss you, but it was good to see you is what you're saying. Good to right? see, yeah, it was good to yeah. see you. And uh, thank you.
thankfully it was that amount. So, uh, just he's good stuff. in spurts he's, is what you're saying. He's, he's good in spurts. What do, what do you guys think about, you know, Jordan has Travis Kelsey behind him on his YouTube, on the YouTube page at TFF dudes, you know, uh, the fade, I heard Travis Kelsey invented the fade. I'm surprised Jordan hasn't gotten a fade yet. Phil, I don't know. Is your haircut, is that called the Edgar or what is that? Is that a fade also? <laughs> like Travis Kelsey? Or, or what do we got going on there? <laughs> that might be the joke of the year so far. <laughs> No, it is not. I feel like I've <laughs> that's actually good. <laughs> I actually uh, I actually found out what that was today at work. I had no idea what the Edgar was. I, I, isn't, I it like I a fade, to... isn't it like a fade into like long hair? I I just saw some pictures and the guy's like, Yeah, if a guy has Ed, an Edgar, you know he's bad news. And I'm like, what is that? He's like, the Edgar, you know, guys have the Edgar. And I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. What what is what yeah, you're gonna have to explain a little more, but I think I know, isn't it like a haircut that's like kind of a bowl cut or <laughs> I don't know, take your hat off. Uh I'll, I'll, I'll look it up. No, my haircut is uh I would, I will say I had the, um, this is embarrassing to admit live on a podcast live on air, unfortunately, but remember when Macklemore first came out, I have, I think I was like, I think I told the barber initially like, Hey, I just like, if you can give me that fade with the high like that, there you go. There you are, Phil. I don't uh, that's not that... even the best one, Trent. There's other, be there's better pictures. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, you guys can share that, but yeah. So, I, you know, I, I yeah I have like what I would consider to be like like pull up Macklemore let's see his haircut let's see his <laughs> haircut. Trent, come on present to us what is do Macklemore haircut circa Phil got so into the Seahawks that he had a Macklemore haircut what he is got it? me into the Seahawks Macklemore haircut let's see let's see what we see let's see what we find it might be I maybe he shaved his head i just remember he was like one of the first guys where I'm like oh man Trent, bring me full head. screen bring me full screen here. I bring you full screen yeah oh I I'll full so you can see the like whole move your, thing. Move, you have to move your head to the side there jordo right there. there that's what the edgar yeah. is trent nice nice yeah that that's how do you get edgar. that picture of phil from that angle uh, <laughs> uh anyways so yeah it's super bold news i i don't know i feel like this has kind of turned into more of like a I don't know, like a dog and pony show rather than media day. It's like, hey, let's have these guys be best friends, you know, like Patrick Mahomes, Brock Purdy. I miss you know, in the NFL days where these guys like hated each other, you know, when like was it Thomas Hollywood Brown told said Terry Bradshaw couldn't spell cat if you spelled spotted him the C and the A. Like, you know, where's all that trash talk? <laughs> I think it was know, the like, C and the T, but yes, I uh <laughs> something like that. It, it might have been there was a Hollywood Henderson no, or something. I'm yeah, no, you have Patrick Mahomes taking a selfie with Brock Purdy, like at the media. Yeah. Day. Like, I don't want to see that. I want there to be mild beef. Like, I don't need them saying negative things about each other, but I want there to be a little bit of a beef going on before the Super Bowl. Like, I don't want to be friends. Like, we're, we're in Sin City, baby. Like, there needs to be a little bit of a tiff going on here between the two teams before they go into straight up war. That's what I'm saying. Like, and you Is know what, Brock Purdy? I will go on. How do you have mild beef without saying any negative things about each other? I just want them to be like, I want, I want Warner to be like, I am waiting for Kelsey to come across the middle so I can just hit him appropriately. So I don't get a flag, but also make sure he knows I'm there all night. Like that's the type of, that's the type of mentality I want Warner to have. I don't want him sharing a bowl of nachos with the guy at the, uh, you know, at the, at the, uh, what are the, the slot machines? That's what, that's what I like. That's basically how they're positioning it in Vegas. Like, this is not these you think Ray Lewis would be having, you know, breakfast with, you know, I don't know, Brett Favre the day before. The, I'm just trying to think of a Super Bowl in which they would be. Go ahead, Trent. You're absolutely right. We have Travis Kelsey and George Kittle basically giving each other friendship bracelets before the game. Remember when the Miami Hurricanes, you know, before the bowl game, they all showed up in camo and they said, you remember when the Japanese had breakfast with America before Pearl Harbor? Then the guy said, let's roll out. And they left like the team dinner at the bowl game. Like that's the kind of stuff I want. I want that drama. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Remember that on the U? Yeah. No, I don't remember that, but I think it was on the 30 for 30 doc, wasn't it? Was it was on the 30 for 30. Yeah. 
No, we need we need like I don't want listen, I don't want any physical altercations. I want to see a good game on Sunday. And frankly, I would think the Niners crew beats the the Kansas City Chiefs crew if it's a straight up fist fight. Like they got some grit over there in San Francisco. I will say though, I just want a little bit of beef. Like talk you know what? I take back what I said. Talk a little trash. I think that's more than acceptable. Don't, you know, don't bring anyone's mother into the into the conversation. Like talk, keep it all on field play. Talk about it that time. Oh, oh, so like don't be like that reporter who brought up Patrick Mahomes' father. Yeah, that's uh, I think that's you can't really yeah, that's not something you do like in that situation. Like, sure, if he wants to comment on it, but like I'm just saying, like, you know, talk to, if he wants to talk about it after the Super Bowl, fine. But like I'm not asking for like a defensive lineman to bring something like that up. I just know, like I would like for him hey, to say, like, I'm gonna be I, I will be here all day and night, bro. Like that they, they no, be prepared. Reporters are different though. Like I'm talking about trash talk between players like reporters that reporters are going to be reporters like they're going to say whatever like unfortunately patrick mahomes dad's in a little bit of trouble right now and that's just you know news i would say but that's not like trash talk like reporters shouldn't be talking trash but i didn't hear the interview so either I did feel, i did you hear it jordan or was it just uh no i, I know you're not him. he just asked yeah. him about his dad yeah, uh -oh. I'm not in these like Mahomes chat rooms like you, so I sometimes this stuff like goes over my head and feels Edgar cut. But uh, it's uh, I, I I don't know. I I think it could be a little meaner. But I that also being said, I think this will be the most watched Super Bowl ever. You know what I'm saying? You know, if we want to get into game predictions, I think no, this will Trent. Be I don't know how you're. Yeah, that's fine. But you're this, they're basically turning this into a flag football game with all this love fest going on be, before the game. Like, let's get some. Let's get mad at each other a little bit. Like, we put helmets on and shoulder pads. Like, let's. I don't know, man. You guys, Jordan, you've gone soft <laughs> on me. Like, give me some grit. Give me some. Like, you, you're a know, basketball like, coach. How are you gonna? You're gonna. You're gonna go over and just be having biscuits and gravy before championship game with the opposing coach. Like, come on, my guy. Like. Sure, I, mean, I know it's a sportsmanship, but I don't want you like sharing notes with him on how you're going to defend yeah. against his team. Like, what, what are you doing here? You know, I don't know. It doesn't bother me as much as it bothers you guys for what it's worth. I don't know. It doesn't really bother me that much. That's why. I, that's why my coaching. I mean, you can just elite. you can just compete. <laughs> like, you, you can be friendly and then just compete when it's game time. Like, I don't. I don't know. Not when you live in a dog and, mentality. If you if you don't live, if you walk around not living like a dog, sure, that's totally fine. That's not that's not the that's not the uh, crew I run with. Just a bunch of dogs. Uh, hey, a hungry dog runs faster, Phil. That's for sure. That's what you exactly told me. exactly. I remember when you told those four year olds you're coaching in soccer. Remember, hungry dogs run faster. And I was like, hey, Phil's got a point. And there. then I you also know, said, like, no cookies unless every single one of you scores a goal. And sure enough, we scored fifteen on that team. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> game prediction. Hey, snacks I, after the game are is are are an, are an important uh, motivator to good soccer play when you're under six years old. That's all I'm saying. That's that's definitely true. If you score also, a goal, you get a donut. That's that is yeah. that is a good motivator. Yeah. Also, what's a good motivator is you know good personal hygiene, smelling good. You know, maybe being trimmed. That's why we go over to our friends at Manscaped. Promo code DUDES20, 20% 20 off your whole entire order, guys. Help yourself out. If you want the ex extreme comfort, go check out those Boxers 2.0. They got the new Lawnmower Ultra also, guys, so go check that out. Head over to Manscaped. Promo code DUDES20, 20% 20 off your whole entire order. You know, it's Super Bowl week. NFL season is basically gone. I think we're probably all going to get together maybe this Sunday. I got some bacon-wrapped uh, hot dogs, Yay! aka your dogs, going on the grill. Let's so go. that should be pretty good. Uh, got a couple tricks up my sleeve for the party this week. I think everybody's going to be surprised. It'll be a good time, uh, minus some of the people that are coming that are on this pod. Uh, yeah. So game predictions. Jordan, Seth kind of gave us you know a wishy-washy prediction of all kinds of stuff going on. What are what are you thinking, Jordan? How, how do you think this game's gonna play out? Wait, hold on. Can yeah, I get one more. Uh, never mind. Go ahead. No, go ahead, Phil. No, 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 no. It was it was it's off topic. Go ahead, Jordan. Give us a prediction. No, I I just think it's important before we start getting the props to kind of like, especially for like the actual football props of like how you think the game's gonna go because I think that's important, right? Because like if you think the game's gonna go a certain way, you're gonna probably attack the props in that manner, right? So how I think the game's going to go is I think we the Chiefs could add to an early lead, very similar to how the Niners got down against the Lions. I could see a 7-0, 14-0. I could see the, 
the Chiefs scoring 14 quick points. Chiefs scored uh, quick against the uh, in, their, in, their, in the AFC Championship game. Um, same against it's the Bills. They went down and scored pretty quick, if if I'm remembering those games correctly. Um, so like I and Mahomes has been here before, right? Like he's experienced. Uh, I think I think he'll move down the move the ball early. Um, and I think the Niners get in chase mode is what I honestly think. So not that I think the Chiefs blow him out, but I think the Chiefs are kind of ahead start to finish, especially that first half. But we have all seen the Niners kind of make adjustments in the second half. So I think the Niners have to throw the ball, but I think it's tough because I think that that Chiefs secondary is really good. So maybe I take that back. I, I think they just have to they have to run the ball quite a bit. I think I see a lot of like CMC, the short passes with Debo and CMC. Um, and then I think the Chiefs kind of throw it on the Niners all the all the all game long. Um, they're gonna run the ball, don't get me wrong, but I think that Niners front is a lot tougher um than the Ch Niners secondary. I think that's where they're most beatable through the air. I think we see a vintage Mahomes game. Um, and I, I see the, the Chiefs up, but I, I think this is gonna be a close game. I think the Niners kind of tight in. Like I can see like Chiefs being up like 17 7 at 17 7 at halftime or like uh maybe like a 17 10 game at halftime and then Niners kind of it just kind of being a back and forth affair in the second half. I think the Chiefs probably win anywhere from 3 to 7 points. I don't I have to think about an exact score, but that's kind of where I'm looking at. I lean the over on the game as well. So I see more offense I think in this game than maybe other people will. So, you know, maybe like a like a, a 31 24, 28 24 somewhere in there. I'm going to take both running backs overs on their props, on their rushing props. Both of these defenses are actually really bad against the run. The There's 49ers, no the, the Niners are bad against the run, Trent. So the Niners were good against the run all season, but in playoffs they've been very bad against the run. The Niners only gave up 10 rushing TDs the whole season this year on the ground, they've given up five in playoffs. So teams yeah, but have had who, success in playoffs running on them. They've played, that's two games. They played the lions and they played who else? Uh, the other, the backers. Yeah. But I mean, lions Jordan love also had a success through the mm -hmm. air. And so like, I, I feel like that this is a, I feel like they're going to try. I don't know. It's tough. I, I like and, the, uh, the CMC one though. The, and the one other down or the or the 90, 90 rushing yards or both. I think if both teams win, I was reading here earlier today. Both if both win. teams win, it'll be like the worst rushing defense to win a Super Bowl. If like either they're team both wins. if either if either both of them, like the I believe the uh 49ers in playoffs are giving up. Um let me keep looking here. I want to say um let me keep average Super Bowl winning defense has allowed 3.8 per rush to opponents. Uh, only two have allowed at least five per rush. And that was the Saints in 09 and the Patriots in 14. Both uh, the Saints allowed 5.2 yards per carry, Patriots allowed five. And the 49ers, who are favored by two. Um let me let me keep looking in here where it was, but they're they're both over five yards per carry. And I like and, your, uh, I like the Pacheco one. Like you said, he's had, he had uh, his most recent game. He had 68 yards and that's been his lowest, uh, of the playoffs just for what it's worth. Mm -hmm. And he's had a TD in every one of those outings. Yeah. Niners, if they were to win, they'd be the on pace to be the worst Super Bowl winning defense in history measured by their 5.6 yards allowed per carry. San Francisco's also allowed five rushing touchdowns in two playoff games. And then the chiefs, uh, are allowing 4.6 yards per carry right now through playoffs. So neither one's like been super, but I will say in the chiefs rushing defense and in their defense for the chiefs, they played the dolphins in the coldest game ever. And they played the Ravens in the rain and they played the bills in terrible weather also. So this has no, been really bad sure. weather games. I, I agree three. with you on the chiefs on the chiefs run defense. I, I like the, I like the matchup for CMC. Mm -hmm. I'm, I question those Niners numbers. I, I think that may be just a little bit of like one, they played a Lions team that kind of, that's what they do is run the ball. Right. And yeah. I'm not saying the chiefs don't run the ball, but are you, do you think they're just going to be like, Hey, Mahomes, you can hand the ball off 20 times. No, they're, Mahomes is going to sling it in this game, right? Like, and this Niners secondary has been beatable 
most of the year, right? Like a two game sample size is what it is, but like long term over the whole course of the season, where could you beat the Niners through the air? Like not yeah, on the ground. It, also looking at this too, uh, the 49ers or the Chiefs since 2021, they are running the ball more than they've ever ran in playoffs. So sorry, their no, whole I, season. They're yeah, they're at 46% run rate this year. Last year they were 40%. The year before they were 39%. So they're definitely, and maybe that's partly to do with how bad the receivers played well, most also, of the year. But also, Trent, in these last two games, they've also been down. So teams mm -hmm. are going to run yeah. the ball in general more when they're up, right? Like the yeah. Packers are going to run the ball more because they were up most of that game. The Lions were up like this. Two this is the Chiefs, in that though. game. The Chiefs no, are running the ball. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm talking about. Uh, sorry, we're talking about two different things. Yeah. I know the Chiefs yeah. are running the ball more. It's what makes mm -hmm. them so dangerous now is that they have a Holmes has a running game. I'm saying the Niners, those numbers, I think, are skewed on the Niners in the two-game samples, guys, on how bad their rush defense is. Just because of two things, they were down in most games. The teams are going to run the ball more. And you have a Packers team who likes to run the ball and a Lions team who likes to run the ball. Yes, Chiefs are going to run the ball, but they're also going to trust Mahomes here. Um, and I think Mahomes is going to throw. And even if the Chiefs are up, like I could see Mahomes kind of going for the kill here in this game. Yeah, John Lynch was talking about that, you know, just how tough Kelsey is because these guys, they've played together so long. He said kind of what they've been focusing on the most is just what to do with Travis Kelsey when these plays break down. That's that's who they're worried about the most because you could see in those in that rain game against the Ravens, like Mahomes looks for him, he makes nice plays to him, and uh, they just both kind of, you know, they know each other, they know what each other are going to do. You know, John Lynch uh, compared it to, you know, him on that Tampa Bay defense with, uh, you know, who are the guys on that team? Rondé Barber and him in the secondary and, you know, him with Champ Bailey on the Denver Broncos. So it's kind of that, that was his analogy compared to it all. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I think, I think if the 49ers win, I think they're going to have to run the ball. Brock Purdy is undefeated in playoff games. He finishes, you know, and that's not really being talked about. And I think Debo gets pretty involved in this game. I think Kittle might not be involved, but Kittle's going to be, uh, what's it called? Kittle will be, you know, whether it's run blocking or whatever, but I, Kittle's going to make an impact. Kittle said he was going to be back the Super Bowl. He's back now. And then, uh, Ayuk, I, I like some Ayuk props and stuff like that. So I, I'm excited to see how this offense comes, how this comes. I think, I think CMC is not going to be denied. Like that's what I'm, I, I think it, Jordan, I agree with you. It is going to be higher because right now the game has a line of 47 and a half and San Francisco is actually favored by two. They have the been the whole entire time. Yeah. So I, I haven't placed the bet yet, but pretty sure I'm going to have a good for, you know, for my, for my bankroll, um, a pretty decent sized bet on the, uh, on the Chiefs, probably the money line. I, I I can't turn down plus money on Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl. Like yeah. they say, the money line's the most popular play right now. Is Chiefs money line uh, is the most popular? Ah, uh, are you sure about that? I, yesterday I saw that on Instagram. So they said Chiefs That's money the line most, was. I, I'd be curious what that, but it can't be Trent. Like it can't be. It might be the most bet, but it can't be the I mean, most right. like. Well, but it can't be the most like have the most money on it because the line wouldn't stay at plus one fifteen. Yeah, yeah. It, it would change. So it's probably like the 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 big bets I think are on the Niners. That's why the Niners have stayed the favorite the whole entire time. The line pretty much hasn't moved um in two weeks, almost two weeks. So yeah, Trent, to go back, we'll get to the props too, but like you were talking about the Niners offense. I see this more as a as a kiddo game, like Kittle always shows up in big games. It's what he yeah. does, right? Like, I don't he like. He will make an much. impact. Yeah. Well, I'm talking. I don't care. I don't, yeah. Yeah. If he's gonna be a great pass blocker, regardless. But Kittle, this I feel like, I feel like the Chiefs secondary has been pretty good. Um, outside of I know Zay Flowers had a, had a a solid game against him last week or two weeks ago, but this feels more like a Debo Kittle CMC game. I don't feel like Ayuk like. I feel like the short stuff with Debo and Kittle is going to be what kind of gets them moving down the field. Yeah. You know, I, I, I'm curious to see how Shanahan, you know, lines this up and gets this figured out because his offense, he, you know, he's always very well prepared on how he's going to do stuff. 
You know, they said the last time when the Chiefs played the 49ers last year, I believe it was last year, they did a lot of those, uh, what is it? They call it a pitch cut or a sweep punch or something where they run that sweep and then they go right up the middle. You know, they say that's a good weakness against Bosa is when you, or the, you know, end around uh, pitch pass when they, you know, pitch it up to like uh, Rice or something and he runs up from there. So just some stuff how like that. Much, uh, how much do you think Jer Jarek McKinnon is using this game? I was kind of wondering that too, because he hasn't been cleared in a long time. He's been a Super Bowl hero, you know, last time they played these guys. Uh I, I think if you bring him back, you're think do you think he it's hard to not play all year and then just come in and play in the Super Bowl, but But I mean, they don't really have anyone behind I mean, CEH, like didn't he's he been fumbled, decent, right? Like, like oh I mean, yeah. Mahomes yeah, trusts McKinnon though, right? So I think that does yeah. matter to a degree. Like McKinnon's made big plays. They, they trust him. And they don't think they'd activate him if they didn't think he was ready. Sky Moore also activated off the IR for what it's worth. He had a touchdown in last year's Super Bowl. Um, and, uh, look, for, for Tony, McKinnon, I'm just reading a I'm reading just a uh a, a little bit of an article. They open up the practice window for him. Um, to return off the injury reserve on February 2nd. But based on head coach Andy Reid's update on February 6th, the 32-year-old won't be ready to play in the 2024 Super Bowl. So that McKinnon? was as of yesterday. That is McKinnon? an article. Yeah, that is an article that I'm reading. It is, yeah. I This is Adam Schefter three hours ago. Practice report that I'm checking out right here. Uh, it says... Did not practice. Okay, Trent Williams, no injury, just resting. Um, limited participation, George Kittle, Eric Armstead, Oren Burks. Uh, full participant, Khalil Davis. Did not participate, Joe Thune. Is it Tooney? Is that the right way to say it? Sorry. Tooney, Tooney. Uh, Wednesday, Jarek McKinnon was a full participant in practice. Uh, that's today, so. Yeah, so, th yeah, this was articles from yesterday, so. Um, yeah. No, it's it's okay. Um, but even based on that, to change from the sixth to the to seventh and him be a full participant, either he's hiding something or there's just like he's there and he's available, but likely not going to be getting a lot of touches. What do you think about Phil just flexing his Stanley Cup like every chance he gets? Like he just has to rub it in his face. He thinks he's better than us because he got a Stanley for Christmas. Sorry, hold on. You have a Stanley also. so It's a little different and I'm not using it right now. Because, you know, people said that I was giving off bad vibes. You're I all about will, vibes. I will say again. Trent, I, think, I think you read it wrong. McKinnon's practice limited today. Um, Frankly, that doesn't shock me. If Yeah. You know, I, I'm go, to Adam Schefter, go to Adam Schefter. Go to Adam. This was Adam Schefter tweet. I'm reading it again. Wednesday, Jarek McKinnon groin full participation in practice. Okay. Underdogger said limited in practice. Um, okay. Let me look. But... Yeah, no, I, I I don't know. That was three hours ago. I don't know when the underdog one was updated. So, Trent, it says limited participation in practice. Wednesday, running back, Jarek McKinnon. Full participation in practice. And then read all the names below that. Those are the guys who partic full participation in practice. Oh, so it's underneath. Why is it written I like that? I know reading is hard for you. Like No, but, but why is it written like that? That is a dumb way to post that. No, it's not. At the top, did not participate in practice. Guard Joe Tooney. Limited participation in practice. Merrick Jerry McKinnon. Full participation in practice. Look how Everyone that's, else. How that's written. That's like, why, would he, why is there a space between there? Why would you double space after a guy's name like that? I, I'm like, I will give you a sliver of a benefit of the doubt because the spacing yes. is weird, the but also weird. if I'm looking at it, bold followed by normal, bold followed by normal, bold followed by normal generally is going to be how you should read that tweet. And it's okay. Listen, I get it. You know, um, I, I, I'm a skim reader and I also am like, I read the first like three letters and assume I know what it is too. Like I am absolutely guilty of that. Like I, you know, 
save a lot of time, but sometimes I make mistakes on air, you know, so yeah. sorry. And most words are not three letters long. So that's probably one of your major problems. That's okay. That's true. But I definitely like predict, you know, and I just kind of keep going. I don't know if anyone else does that or if you struggle with that, but Hey, it's fun to make fun of, you know, people's problems they have. So you know, <laughs> thanks, guys. you're right. It is. You have, no, 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 no. You just said that it's not a problem. Like you actually don't have a problem. You actively choose to read the first three letters and decide what the rest of the word is going to be, or you actively choose to decide what the remainder of it's going that's to be. That's so probably that is a choice, not a that is not a problem. So you say <laughs> that isn't a choice that has become a problem for you, but it's not something that you were it's born probably with, so. it's probably something it's probably something I could go to the doctor and get you know something for it. You know what I mean? Like whether that's medication or you know a better parking spot. You know, like it's I, I think I could get by with it because you know I that's just where I am. You know, that's what I do and I can't be the only person who does that. You know, I think there's other people who do that. So <laughs> saves a lot of time and most Again, you know it's probably like 70 percent accurate saves a lot of time so this is a choice in which you are making That's you know what else is a choice phil for you to be in fantasy leagues that don't have a trophy and i don't know why you're in those but you are so head over to trophy smack go to www.trophysmack.com forward slash dudes for 15 percent off your whole entire order guys it really helps us out. You can customize this trophy however you want you know i got a nice little belt here i got a handout i need to go in and you know send uh get the plaques updated on these you know because you can do the trophies that they add a name every single year trophy smack does that for you you don't you don't need to drive to the trophy shop all that stuff go over to trophy smack.com forward slash dudes 15 percent off your whole entire order uh i am gonna say 49ers win this game and my score prediction is going to be 38 31 niners and you know what i hate this and jordan is the problem for this, and it's you know, it's it's hurt me because I do not like the Niners. I've always hated the Niners. I've always respected that they've been a good team the last couple of years. And I really actually want to go for the Chiefs in this game because I don't like the Niners. I don't like Niner fans. Uh, they're kind of obnoxious, especially here in California. That you know, they call them the faithful. But uh Jordan has to eat a hot chip if the Niners win. And I would, you know, I'm almost putting my pride of my team aside to watch Jordan suffer eating a hot chip. I think that's worth it. And I think anyone who's listening to the pod that doesn't have a dog in the fight should want to see Jordan eat a hot chip. And Correct. do you agree, Phil? Absolutely. I cannot. He, I hope he's already looking at where these hot chips are, can be purchased. Cause I'm not purchasing one for him. And he's the one who made the bet. Frankly, we're still trying to find the tape on whether he said, make it to the super bowl or win the super bowl. And frankly, I think it's to the super bowl. So he should probably have to eat a chip regardless, but more than anything, I cannot wait for him to eat a chip, and I pray that chip is in attendance at your house on Sunday, Trent. I, I will look and see if I can overnight something from uh, Zimbabwe or wherever they make them. I don't know. Here, just don't show the text because we don't know what else is in that group. Chat. Yeah, Jordan, yeah, I, I don't want you to accidentally swipe go. something and see no, something. No, no, else no, no. Like, just, it. Yeah, yeah. Let's just make sure. Yeah, that's totally fine. Okay. I said if the Niners, if the Niners win the Super Bowl, I will do a, a hot chip, hot chip live on the pod. Okay. Our listeners might have heard something different on the pod, is the problem. Yeah, we have many a listener who wrote in well to us via text. Well, the text is what really counts because that's where the bet was made. Yeah, you're right. You know, people's words should mean nothing. You're right, Jordan. <laughs> um, uh, you know, sorry we have the thing on this pod called integrity. You know, you might want to try it sometime. Uh, Phil, what's your score prediction? And Phil, you're a Seahawks fan, but are you in the same boat as me? Like, you're the original Purdy truther. Uh, you know, you called this guy, you know, is it be good before the draft, you know, before Mr. Relevant, you know, you're kind of one of his ride or dies. Who are you going for in this game? You're a Seahawks fan, but you're also, you know, you probably have a Purdy, Purdy jersey. Yeah, you have a Purdy jersey in your closet probably. So what are you, what are you, what are you doing, Phil? Do you want to see Jordan eat a hot chip or are you just going to be like, hey, Chiefs Kingdom? No, absolutely not. As much as I hate the Niners, like Seth hates the Niners. I dislike the Niners. I like Purdy. I dislike Patrick Mahomes more like I just I am not and it's not he listen I'm sure he's a nice guy I'm sure there's no reason but like <laughs> after watching that Netflix documentary and, and him just being like totally about himself like I would way rather cheer for a guy like Brock Purdy and uh, a guy like George Kittle there's a bunch of different guys Christian McCaffrey like I just the in terms of likability I props like to me. his dad bod are you talking about Mahomes yeah all right. 
I wasn't going to go there. I don't know. <laughs> I I I I want to go for people who seem like they're like like the, there's a ton of Chiefs players that I'm sure there are cool dudes. And I honestly, Andy Reid seems awesome, but Andy I Reed's just cool. I can't I can't bring myself to cheer for the Chiefs. I also know Jordan's cheering for the Chiefs. This whole Taylor Swift tw- Taylor Swift storyline is just been nauseating. Um, there's like I Phil, just, Phil's it, daughters every day are telling him how cool Travis Kelsey is, you know, like <laughs> he just, he just can't take it anymore in, inside his household. You know, he's yes. the only man with a house full of females. They all love Travis Kelsey. Probably. I don't think they know who Taylor, they know who Taylor Swift is. Cause they've heard like slam and screen door or whatever that song is, but they don't, I don't think they have like, okay, they probably wait. couldn't. What's that song Go called? Ahead, no. What song that's uh anyways keep going. What song is it? Tim McGraw? Right, no. Uh, no, no, it's teardrops a, is it teardrops on my guitar. Teardrops on my guitar. Yeah, yeah. She'll have teardrops on her guitar also, Sunday night. That's for sure. To Toby Keith. What a legend, right? What an American absolute icon. legend. I should have been American a cowboy. Icon. American icon. You know, that it, it was a sad day um when we saw that happen. And I'm being serious. Like uh yeah, yeah it's a bummer. I, I love Toby um, Keith, but I will say Indian Outlaw, great songs. It's Phil loves this bar, right, Phil? Uh, you love that bar? Uh, I love this bar. Red Solo Cup. You know, that one's a good one, too. Yeah. Uh, Let's have a party. There's there's a lot. He's got a lot of he's got a lot of good ones that you just want to roll down your windows and your CRV and, and just belt uh, away. Just belt away. Uh, I, he, he has some, you know, Garth Brooks also has some ones that you want to do that, too. But we're, we're, we're talking about. Uh, Toby Keith here. Anyhow, um, who are you choosing to win the Super Bowl? 49ers? 27, 24, 49ers, 27, 24, 49ers, 27, 24. Uh, and, uh, I think that I think CMC is going to be the hero that we all think he is. I think, tr- uh, George Kittle is going to show a lot of grit and I think Brock Purdy is going to throw some absolute darts. And I think that Patrick Mahomes rolls his ankle or his ankle oh, gets my. messed up. Pretends, second- pretends- Pretends to roll his ankle for yeah. more, you know, more drama. Second quarter, it happens. He continues to play the rest of the game. Script has been leaked. Say, script has been leaked. Second quarter, he rolls his ankle, and the Niners pull out the dub. And then, of course, the storyline is going to be what could have been had Patrick Mahomes yes. not rolled his ankle. And I'm going to have to pay attention to that instead of being able to cheer for the Niners, you know. And yeah, uh, I feel or like people Phil will be like just diving that. pass that was thrown out of bounds, and they'll just talk about that. Correct. I feel yeah. like Phil just said that. So when it actually on the off chance that it actually happens, Trent Trent can play this clip on social media, and and we're just Phil's either gonna be like people are gonna be like, man, I can't believe this guy said that, or man, this guy's the biggest you know what of all time for <laughs> predicting uh, Mahomes is gonna roll his ankle. <laughs> Fill in the blank. I don't know. Fill well, yeah. words. I've Bill been called the, the biggest, you know what, a variety of different things. I don't know what you're going to start calling people. You use know your what. imagination, Phil. Jordan, what's your score the prediction? Cool guy. The I uh, said it. Uh, I didn't give a definitive one. I'll go 31 24 Chiefs. Wow. Okay. okay. Seth just texted me. He's done trading pins with Mickey Mouse and Goofy. He has a. Uh, he still is flip flopping. He said he'll get back to us. So I'm <laughs> glad he's pin trading in the what, rain. What, Sounds what amazing. Doing? He really didn't say what he who he's going for. Yeah, he just said he's he's pin trading. I'm sure he's getting something really no, good. From no, no, no. He workers. hasn't. Text him back and say you have until the pat pod is over. You have another it's ten minutes. Ten o'clock, and he's probably you know getting escorted off the carousel as we speak okay. because he <laughs> said he wasn't getting off till it quit. Even raining. even still, he has another fifteen minutes to decide who he's taking, or it is over. Like I'm sorry, Seth. You know, there's, there's, I'm sure a lot of people who care about you. I'm not one of them. Uh, I'm just kidding. So that's, you know, I, I just, just he get just us, sent us a score update of his Buzz Lightyear score. Yeah, which, you I know, know. For those of you who care about that, he got, I can't even count that high. And I'm not reading the first three numbers because you guys make fun of me. But it's score nines all the way across uh, level so seven, you know. He said, <laughs> watch it, he, it be for the Niners. So let's see what Seth is. Hopefully he makes it safely back to his hotel, car, whatever he's doing there at, uh, there yeah. at Disneyland. I'm sure he's wearing uh, his Apple Vision goggles. Do you guys remember when, uh, when Seth told me it wasn't going to rain tonight at Disneyland? And then he came back with, man, it is just pouring rain here at Disneyland. Yeah, I, I'm surprised you still take what that guy says serious, Jordan. But, you know, that's some integrity, integrity you, you know, 
listen to what people say. So I'm, I'm glad you still have hope in that guy. Uh, the thing we, is, do you know what, do you know what bothers me, Trent? And you know what you, you turned out being, you were turned up to be wrong, right? Jordan blindly follows Seth into the, into the ether that it's not going to rain. No, that's not what he, I said. I he, told him it was has, going to rain. He has a weather app. He has a weather app. He could have just pulled it up himself and be like, hey, you know, I didn't pull it up. It's I going to was, rain in I Anaheim. So, but then you, 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 you know, you rattle off an Adam Schefter tweet and the guy pulls it up immediately. And I just don't think that's fair, Trent. Like the guy is. Thanks, Phil. Know, it You're shows, right. I, it shows I, I who he so. cares more about in his family. You, you are, you are also his cousin, Trent. Oh, yeah. he, it's probably, be, it's probably because they both trade pins at Disneyland. You know, like there's not a lot of guys over the age of 30 Trent, that do that. Trent, these you days. Got, I'd you love to have a friend way like more than Jordan. I have. Yeah. Get you, get you a friend, how Jordan looks at Seth. That's all I'm saying. Like the guy <laughs> in terms of like trustworthiness. Well, one guy can read and the other guy can't. So who am I gonna who am I gonna believe? <laughs> the more? guy can't read a weather app, so I don't know why you think he can read. Yeah, uh, let's get these Super Bowl props. Uh probably start yeah, that thing. Still wants to be done here in 15 minutes, so we all know that. Jordan's now. ready to run through a brick wall for Seth when he said that there was gonna be no rain. Like it's, it's, Jordan was about to buy tickets to Disneyland this e like earlier this morning to make it there yeah. before the yeah, evening. Started. Sure, sure. Was, yeah. I didn't <laughs> what. Oh, the uh, are those churros any good? Pretty good? They're great. I love those churros. Disneyland churros are amazing. I love They're them. about fifteen dollars, but yeah, I'm sure they taste great. You know, when in Rome, yeah, I think sure. they're eight fifty. Um, that's still a okay. lot of money. That's still a lot. Yeah, um, it's experience, guys. All I right, will say the swap meat, the swap meat uh, churros, those things slap, baby. Do you remember Trent just going to the swap meet and just loading up on those bad dogs? Or are you not a fan? I, I vaguely remember. I, no, I like them. Meat. I don't like them as much as Disneyland. Disneyland's are consistent, always good. Sometimes the guy at the swap meet, you know, sometimes are good. And then sometimes the guys, you know, just microwave them at, you know, heat them up from Costco. And that's no good. The You're thin thick guys at right. the swap meet are really good. I had one of those guys at my wedding. It's really good. Thankfully, my mom saved me one of them that I got to try that. But guys, we're going to get to our Super Bowl props. Enough with this, uh, you know, sticky cinnamon talk. Today's uh, Super Bowl props are brought to you by our friends over at Underdog Fantasy. Head over to Underdog Fantasy, enter promo code DUDES, and they will match you up to $100, guys. There's you know, all kinds of, you know, fun plays. You can pick the higher, the lower. Underdog's a very easy place, you know, to do have some, you know, fantasy fun i think you know the old you know uh, ff fantasy fun head over to underdog sports before the big game on sunday enter promo code dudes match you up to hundred dollars guys it is a lot of fun over there and we're getting into best ball season for baseball if you want to get into that you need to you know wet your whistle you know on the old fantasy sports i think best ball is the best way to do baseball and uh i'll be definitely doing that on underdog fantasy Super Bowl props. Like I said, there will be a link to these in the description if you want to download this. Make your Super Bowl party a little bit more fun. Some things to cheer for. These aren't just football related, guys. These are actually, you know, other stuff too that uh, has to do with the Super Bowl from Star Spangled Banner to Coin Toss, first commercial, all that good stuff. Phil, you want to read these? You want me to read them? How do we want to do I, this? Do you want to go every other? I can read it. I can read you them. Can read so, it. you want to? Okay. So here we go. Here we go. Star Spangled Banner length. Is it Usher? Is it Usher who is singing? Reba. It's Reba. Yeah. So it's Reba who is singing the Star Spangled Banner. Here's over. your chance, fancy. Don't let me down. There we go. Actually, that wasn't a bad take there, Trent. So it's the length of the song, 84 and a half, 84 seconds, 84 and a half seconds. Are you going over or are you going under? I'm going over on the national anthem. I always go over on Super Bowl national anthem. I think it's, I don't know what it was last year, but I think you just got to go the over. These singers Reba, are helping people. Reba seems like an over person to me. Like she yeah. definitely likes to hear her voice. So I, I think I'm going over. Definitely over. I, I they I feel like they always go over. Maybe I'm wrong. I I, I don't know. Phil, you, you I went over. over. I'm going to go over. Okay. So over what are we all the way across? All the way across, we are going over. All right, the next one here, we are going with the coin toss, uh, heads or tails. I want to say that the usually the coin toss is usually ends up happening for tails, but the actually it's it's both minus one hundred five right now, and heads or tails. 
it's literally 50 percent chance right i i'm always heads Tails. Right? i take heads always i Tails. don't know is there a way we can look that up Tails never fails though trent i agree with that jordan it's just a dumb saying that's an old wives tale I'm looking it up last 10 Super Bowl coin toss results. Let's see what, what we got here. Heads is 47% of the time, while tails is 30% of the time. Um, <laughs> Super Bowl coin toss results. Heads, 27% of the time. Excuse me, 27 yep. times, which makes up 47%. And tails, 30 times, 53%. Um, heads the longest streak was five with tails having the uh, second obviously longest streak at four three times so um, and it happened three times is what it's saying so it ha they, there's a streak of four and it happened three times if that makes sense um, most most coin toss wins Cowboys Trent with six Niners with five they can tie the Cowboys uh, excuse me yeah, five. Dolphins, four. Raiders, three. Patriots, three. Seahawks, three. Uh, who is wearing the white jerseys? 49ers wearing white jerseys or red jerseys? There is some stat that, you know, teams with red jerseys have lost or won, you know, the last so many. There, there's there's some funny – there's all kinds of crazy Super Bowl stats, right? Phil, so, are you pulling up jerseys? So the Chiefs, the Chiefs are the home team, it looks like. Okay, so they're wearing red. I got it right now. Um. Or not. I just got the old. Uh, there we go. Just want an iPod. Let's see. Yep, that's exactly <laughs> what I got. Something like that. Um, Chiefs are going red jerseys. 49ers will go white. All right. Okay. Let's go. All right. So I chose head. Uh, Trent chose head. Jordan chose tails. First tails. QB shown. Mahomes or Purdy. I am. Patty. Uh, yeah, I think you have to go Mahomes here. Trent? I'm going Patsy. And and just talking about this, is this like during the National Anthem? Is this before the National Anthem? This is the one that always confuses me is when is the time where they actually show it? It's National um, Anthem, right? I believe so. Up. I believe so, Trent. I believe it's the National Anthem, yes. Remember last year's Super Bowl, Sirianni crying during the National Anthem? Oh, yeah, straight up waterworks. That was cool. And then Jordan ridiculed him after, right after the game. It's like, bro, come on. Yeah, you know, can't blame the guy. Uh, hey, the, uh, just for the record, Trent, when I try to find this prop on first QB shown, you can also bet on Taylor and Travis's first baby name. When will Taylor and Travis announce they're pregnant? Man, you can do all kinds of fun stuff here. Like, what I the? want I nothing to do with baby name because, like, these celebrity couples, like, sometimes these baby names are, like, there's no way you can, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, anyone's names that's that's like almost impossible like maybe if they gave me like the letter or something that's like, what i was gonna say maybe it's the letter that it goes with yeah if they had a boy can't you see it being like tyler swift or something i don't know i could see them yeah. going with jason just a classic name classic brother situation name um uh this one trent has national anthem who will be shown first that's what i'm okay. saying here so yeah. that's probably so, the right thing to do national anthem. trent you're going mahomes too i'm going Posty. Patsy. Cool. All right. Opening hey, kickoff, a touchback. I am going with, oh, man, I'm going I, with. I'm going yes. I'm going no. Jordan, what are you doing here? Opening kickoff, touchback uh, or no? Yeah, always a touchback. Those guys want to boot the ball in their first uh, first kick of the Super Bowl. Yeah, sometimes it's good to get those, you know, get the bugs out and all that stuff, you know. But uh, remember that Devin Jitter. Hester return Super Bowl? That was crazy. Um. um all right, score in first two minutes of the game, yes or no? No. I'm going no as well. I'm going no, but you could you could gain one here, right? You know what I'm saying? Like you could get something here, you know. Maybe yeah. you know, pull ahead of the competition going yes, right? Well, I think this is how you pull out right here. This is the this is the one that you start to to, to pull away from the comp is the first commercial. Is it soda or is it beer? And I say beer because the Anheuser Bush is very much back in the news with their uh their their uh partnership with UFC, their partnership with a comedian. Like I think that Anheuser Bush is going all in, chips all in. It's gonna be a Budweiser commercial. 
you uh, did your I'm research sure. here, Phil. I, I, I like that. That's that's pretty good. I think it's going to be beer also. I'm hoping there's – I either want a commercial that makes me cry at the Super Bowl or cry from laughing. I haven't had that in a while. The Super Bowl commercials have not been what they should be. So hopefully, you know, let, let's make Super Bowl commercials funny again. You know, that's what I want. So hopefully you got a little bit of humor coming in here. But uh, I, I'm going to go beer also. I have soda. BYOB. All right. Yeah, so to Jordan being different here. Trying to All right. Away. Commercials to play first. I have to tell you guys, it's between Doritos or, or M&M's. I have not enjoyed an M&M's commercial since the inception of M&M's commercials. They're never good. Like they've never been funny. <laughs> They're just not enjoyable. It's like these M&M's talking. Like I don't think anyone finds enjoyment out of them. It, I, honestly, they could easily swap that out and just, you know, play some m M&M features around the stadium. I don't know. The, the, their commercials are terrible. They need to get some better ad writers. That's all I'm saying. I don't enjoy the m M&M m commercials. I think as Maybe a you kid, should apply I for really that job, like Bill. <laughs> Honestly, that's that's a way to make it big is we put this on YouTube. We make our own m M&M m commercial that's maybe better. I, I, I don't know. I kind of like the one when they x-rayed the pretzel in there. That was kind of cool. I don't know. I, I feel like that was kind of like a little courtesy laugh maybe is the right term. As a kid, I thought they were funny but you're right i've never like slapped my knee laughing you know about yeah lifted up your leg and slapped your knee you know yeah as hard as i possibly can yeah uh doritos (laughs) they usually come with good super bowl commercials i will say yeah like sure some of those stick out and remember when they used to do the fan ones or the fans could create the super bowl commercial that was cool i always liked those the dog like running into the sliding glass door i i want to bring back those you know horses playing football for the beer commercials those were always good you know they usually go for two uh a lot of good super bowl commercials i'm gonna go man phil you you took me on a rabbit hole and i had to like dig deep i'm going doritos for what it's true i i have doritos as well i'm going doritos all the way across all right. So Gatorade shower color. Okay. So that means what color Gatorade is going to be dumped on the head coach. I am going, man. So it's lime, green, yellow, orange, purple, red, water, or blue. I see the, the Niners being a yellow Gatorade color. So I'm going yellow for that one. What about you guys? The Chiefs last year had orange. Okay. Um, looking at just the last Super 2020 was orange. Uh, wait, that doesn't make sense. Chiefs won in 2020. I thought the, the Buccaneers won in 2020. Chiefs won in 2021. Sorry, Bucks won in 2021. Really? Yeah. I moved back in 2020. The Super Bowl I watched was uh, at my dad's house for a little bit, and it was the Bucks and Chiefs. And I thought that was, you're right, that is 2021. Because Mahomes could have went back-to-back then. This is his second opportunity to go back-to-back. So 2020 was orange, 2019 was blue with the Patriots, 2018 with the Eagles was yellow, and 2017 the Patriots did not dump any Gatorade, it says. That must have been because that was the overtime comeback when they were down 24-3. to Maybe they just were all too excited. Phil, do you remember that Super Bowl? Uh, the Niners. Sorry, versus- that's not the Seahawks. That's the That was a different one. My bad. Yeah, maybe that is. Um, I think if Chiefs win, it would be orange. I'm going to go with Niners, and I think you got to go with, you know, classic yellow. They're kind of a, you know, bring your lunch pail to work kind of team, and I think that's, you know, the working man's yellow Gatorade guy, you know? That's, Absolutely that's it is. That. Absolutely it is. I, I hate that we're going the same there, Phil, but that's where I'm at. Jordan, what, what are you doing? You're doing some deep research uh, on Gatorade colors? No, I was just trying to find the uh, the odds, and I can't. That should oh, be right actually here. something oh, that you right put here. on your on your dating profile, right? Like um, a dating profile. What Gatorade color do you drink? And that's how you know if you match with a person, right? Like I think so. What do you orange think, about that, and Jordan? Orange and I, I'm ignoring the question. Uh, orange and lime green, yellow are all both three to one. Clear water is uh, almost it's th- three seventy five plus three seventy five. Purple five to one. Blue six to one. Red plus three twenty five. Here's the deal. You have to be a complete dork to dump water on your coach. Absolutely. Go yeah. find a gate. It's got to be like, hey, we're out of Gatorade. 
let's get some water. Like that is last resort guys. Like if you're listening to this and you know, you're in high school or whatever, and you're about to, you know, you're thinking about, you're ever in the situation where you got to dump something on your coach. Don't do water, get the most sticky substance as possible. Now, if your coach might be smart, he might not provide Gatorade that game. I, I don't know, but yeah, you got to go with the absolute, you got to go Gatorade here. Don't, don't be a square and dump water on your coach. Yep, what do you guys take? Agreed. You guys took, what do you guys take? We both took yellow. Yeah, we took I'm yellow. I'm going to go red. Jordan, hear me out. People trust their zodiac sign. They trust the stars to choose. Like, hey, are you, uh, what are those things? The, uh, what are the, the horoscopes? Little, yeah, horoscopes. They trust, like, the, are you, uh, when you're birth, like, those pe people trust those things to, to date. I, I, I'm totally opposed to those things. You, you, you don't agree with me. Like, you can tell a lot about no, a person I just don't by the feel type like of grade your rate. Question. I, all I'm saying is, Trent, do you agree with that? Yes or no? With Gatorade colors? No, I, like that should be like on a, if it's a dating app, you should be able to see what color that person prefers for a, for the, the Gatorade. That would be a deal breaker for me. No, uh, if someone says they like red Gatorade, I I'm staying away far away. Is, in fact, that's the worst Gatorade. I will it's say. the worst red. Gatorade color. And so that person might be attracted to me, that red color. Cause like usually, you know, they're probably not, you know, into the finer things in life. And so that red color would make me steer myself far away. Now, if they're into orange, or yellow, I mean, like this person has some class. They have some taste. Maybe yellow is boring. Along. You know, you're simple. You, you know, you're a risk taker. That's that. That could be true. So if you're a risk yeah. taker, maybe you go with someone who's more into like the aqua blue or maybe the zero potentially. All I'm saying is people look at the horoscopes, whatever they may be. Gatorade flavor should absolutely be on a dating app. No questions asked, hands down. Quote me. No one even knows, you know, their Gatorade flavor. They just say the color. You know, they should change it from Arctic Mist or whatever it is to, you know, blue or green. Like, uh, we got a listener that's a huge, like, believer in cucumber Gatorade. Have you guys tried the cucumber oh, flavor? Those... Steven Michigan tells me I have to try it. He says I'll change it. I actually tried it. It was pretty good. It, it wasn't bad. I had the Gatorade, uh, Gator Light or whatever. It's like the PDO like Gatorade, yeah, 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 yeah. but the cucumber flavor, it wasn't bad. I didn't mind it. I know that there's some people who will put like the Mexican salt on it, like the the like the chili salt, like on the thing, and almost it almost takes like a margarita to some of pe some people on, you know? on a cucumber or in their Gatorade, the cucumber Gatorade. Oh, okay, I, I I'm not a big spicy guy, but Phil does owe me five bucks for spicy because he didn't think I could eat one I simple jalapeno I slice I Jordan, owe, on a piece I of pizza him. for me and Ed's. He said, "I'll give you five bucks if you can eat one jalapeno out of the pizza container." I almost had to give you mouth to mouth resuscitation after you ate mm. a chicken wing that was had mild buffalo sauce on it. Jordan, do you hot. remember that? That was hot Trent chicken almost, nuggets from McDonald's and it went down the wrong pipe. He almost died in his garage. And he talked about he 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 brings up the trauma of him almost cutting off his thumb with a chainsaw. Like frankly, this situation was far worse. The guy almost died after he ate a mild chicken nuggets. Jordan, can you agree with at least that? Take my breath away. Can we move on? <laughs> All right. We've been too long on the Gatorade. Uh, I'm trying to give Seth a little bit of time. So Brock Purdy rushing yards. Okay. Does right. Brock Purdy have over 12 and a half rushing yards? I am saying no. I have he over. Just, Chris Jones, get him out of the pocket. He's going to run a little bit. You don't I, think, I think he I takes go any over sacks? Too. You don't think he takes any sacks, Jordan? The sacks don't apply in NFL. That's a college football thing. I, I forget about that a lot too. I, oh, I hate I'm, that they do that. You're I, right. I, I forgot about that countless times. It doesn't. Yeah. I think it doesn't. It's really dumb too. that in college football and high school it counts for your rushing stats, but in the NFL it doesn't. I think it's yeah. Yeah. yeah prob it makes sense why it would count. Yeah. Because like, I've lost. Oh, go ahead. You know, if a running back gets stuffed for you know minus five, he loses five rushing yards. Yeah, and I forgot about that in the national championship game and took Penix re over rushing yards, and he would have gotten it had it been NFL rules. So that is a fun little treat. But they do me. lose rushing yards when they do kneel downs, right, Jordan, in fantasy football? Yeah, and in so college, they, down, don't they lose do yards. But sacks, they don't. See, and I, I think, think they, they should... lose lose rushing yards in college for kneel downs. There's a bunch of guys that have lost fantasy football championships because quarterbacks kneel. It, it's it's really ridiculous, especially those guys, you know, that do the, like, how mad am I going to be if, like, Brock Purdy gets, you know, 13 rushing, you know, 16, let's just say he gets 20 rushing yards and he does, like, one of those dumb QB kneels at the end of the half or into the game and they win and he loses, like, eight yards because he's running around and kneels it. Like, that's going to make me mad. 
You know, these guys are messing with people's money. It's not right. Investments. Uh, I'm going over. Phil, you went under. I took no. I changed it to the over. Okay, and that's number nine. All right. What do we got next, cool. Phil? All right. We have Isaiah Pacheco. Oh, shoot. Isaiah Pacheco, 67 and a half rushing yards, over or under? I'm going over. I'm going over. I'm going to go under. Okay. Okay. And these, right. we have 31 of these question props, guys, and you know they're all, all over yeah. the place. Travis Kelsey, over or under on – I believe this is probably receiving yards because I don't – it's definitely not receiving plus rushing, but receiving yards, 70 and a half over or under. Um, uh, Receiving yards, I am going to say over is what I'm going to go Over. With Travis Kelsey. I'm taking under. Um, all right. How many commercials will have a dog in them? Over or under six and a half. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. I am going over. Under. Okay. Jordan's going under. Phil went over. Man, six and a half. That's a lot of commercials. And I don't think this can be like, hey, there was 19 dogs on that commercial. That counts. It has to be separate commercials. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's how Man, many commercials have a dog in them. Not know, how many dogs will show up in a commercial. You know, beer commercials have had dogs in the past. Um, Doritos. Been, Doritos has had dogs in the past. I think I got to go over six and a half commercials with dogs in them. I think I, yeah. I got to do it. Yep. Um, all right. Uh, CMC over 89 and a half rushing yards. I'm going over. I'm slapping the under here. Uh, I have over. Okay. Will Tay Tay Swift cry? Yes or no? I'm saying yes. I'm saying yes. She cries if they win. She cries if they lose. Like I, I, I don't think that. I think this is a yes, absolute yes. No. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say she cries. Okay, Jordan she says cries. No. If they lose, is there a song about this game? Yeah. You know what are the, what are the odds? Oh of wait, wait, I, man. What if what if he proposes that for the game though? She might Absolutely cry. Absolutely not. No, if no, didn't she win be in the in the AFC Championship game? I she did, but she didn't cry. I don't think did she? I thought she cried. I thought there was tears. I'm gonna go Maybe. no still, but if he okay. proposes, man, it could be a wild card. You never know. If he proposes and they lose, that is 100 the headline. Honestly, that's a, such a power move. Even if you don't plan on getting married, just propose anyways and steal all the thunder from the 49ers. Like. You know what I'm saying? Just like <laughs> Travis Kelsey has proposed after losing the Super Bowl uh, <laughs> with Taylor. That's the Smith, headline. It would steal all. The, it would be the headline. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Yeah. It it's, would be the headline. So this is Phil. You said yes. Yes. Yeah. I said yes. So for 14, this is crying. Okay. You said yes. Jordan said no. Okay. Yeah. That would be. He, he definitely would steal all the headlines if he did that. They like might not even like go interview the MVP if he does that. Like, because the NFL, like, was it Taylor Swift's made three hundred and thirty million for the Chiefs in the NFL? Like, you know, this season. So, like, yeah, they're gonna be following her everywhere. Like, I want to know what the what the prop was. We don't have it on here. How many times she's gonna be shown on TV? Like, if Travis Kelsey has you know over nine catches, she very well could be on double digit times. She oh, be on double digit times without that. Absolutely. Um, all right. What do we got next, Phil? Uh, all right. Brandon Ayuk's first catch over or under 13 and a half. That's a tough one right there. I'm saying over. Sean, what do you think? Over. Uh, I have under. Yeah, I'm going to go under also. Okay. Um, first score. Is oh. it a touchdown, a field goal, or a safety? I'm going to say field goal. I am saying touchdown. Jordan? I have touchdown. Okay. Okay. Halftime show song songs. Eight and a half over or under. This is Usher, right? Usher, Usher. You're supposed to say yeah, Phil. I think he does the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh I'm gonna go over. I always slap the over on this one. Slap of the base. I am going. I got I got over. Okay. I'm going to take the over here too. Higher scoring half, first or second? 
Ooh, this is a good one. I'm going to go gonna, second. I'm going to go second also. Jordan? Second. Cool. Total penalties accepted. Ten and a half over under. This is teams combined. I'm going over. The 49ers, you know, get a big lead. You know, Mahomes is going to start getting bailed out on roughing the pass or whatever. Actually, Super Bowl officiating is usually pretty good. <laughs> Uh, minus the holding call last year, I feel like they really let these guys play in the Super Bowl. Like, and I think that's what's frustrating for these quarterbacks is they get all these calls all year, and the Super Bowl rolls around, they don't get them. Yeah, so I'm gonna right. say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say under. I, I don't think the NFL wants the refs to be the story. I still think over Jordan. Um, these should be the I best refs go... all year, right? You'd think so. You I'll got go that re- under. You got the first ref that you know played in a Super Bowl, also refing the Super Bowl. It's kind of oh, that's cool. I don't feel good story. Did he feel play linebacker guy. for the Pats? Where did he? Play? Titans. Titans. They, right. When they lost to the Rams. Oh, that was a crazy one. Um, all right, 49ers points scored over twenty four, exactly twenty four or under twenty four. I'm going over twenty four. What do you got, Phil? I'm going. I'm actually. I called exactly, so I'm going 24. You said 27, oh, sorry, sorry, 24. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, over. Sorry, I, I was getting ahead of myself. I'm I was hoping you go. And I'm going under, for, or I'm going exactly for the Chiefs. Me and Jordan. Phil. Right? Um, I also had them scoring 24, but like, I feel like doing exactly is like the wrong move here. Um, I'll go. Gives you a lot of room for error. Yeah, I'll go room over. for improvement. Room for improvement, Phil. That's very Phil. You've been pretty motivational today. I just want to let you know that you know and that's pr- that. as much as it hurts to compliment you. That you know you're you are uh, exceeding in that category. Other than making fun of me for not reading correctly, that's probably uh, the only place I've exceeded, with the exception of my weight. All right, moving on here. <laughs> what did what did Jordan say? I said over. He said okay. over, which means exceeds. Just for what okay. Thank you. Uh, all right. Did, well, we had an encyclopedia sack. on the pod. 49ers sacks, two and a half over or under. Ooh, this one's a good one. I am going, I'm going to go over. I've said this is a good, oh, this is a good one on too many at this point. I'm going over two and a half. Man. Last time these guys played, Bosa did have, oh, last time the Super Bowl, Bosa did have one sack. Uh, what Bosa say, you know, they asked him what he thought about the offensive line. He said they hold a lot. Uh, the Chiefs guard uh, Toomey probably isn't going to play, I'm thinking. I'm going to go over two and a half sacks here. Hey, did we do number 21? What was 21? Uh, the Chiefs, Chiefs point scored. We skipped that one. So, oh, I uh, thought you had said it, Jordan. I thought you had said it. What did you think about the Chiefs? I put exactly 24 for the Chiefs. Trent, what did you say? Uh, I'm going over. On that one. Okay. So we're going over all the way across. I'm going over on Niners and Chiefs. Sorry. Okay. okay. And then on sacks, I'm going over. Phil's going over. I I'm think going under. You're going under? Okay. So get this. In the game that... Oh, go ahead, Jordan. I think you're going to say something. No, I wasn't. So in the uh, in the game where the Bucks beat the Chiefs, the Bucks had... Oh, sorry. Never mind. The Bucks did not have, uh, they did not have, uh, they only had one sack just as a well, head. To, to Mahomes' credit, he's really hard to get your hands on. Like he runs around, he's very, he's very, uh, I, I think he just has really good pocket presence. Maybe the best pocket presence, you know, you've seen from a quarterback. He's really good, but uh, this Niners front, you know, can put pressure, the, you know, Bosa and stuff like that, you know, complaining about holding. All that stuff. We'll see what happens. I was but right. I'm, I'm, they had, they had, they did have, um, they did they had act, five. I think they had, um, two, three. I think they had three. Okay. So they had uh, three sacks in that, uh, three sacks in that game. I will say though, if you remember that game, if they, they had Patrick Mahomes on the move that entire game, I think yes. they have to replicate. So I think if you're getting three sacks on Patrick Mahomes, you're likely winning the game. And that's that's probably not accurate, right? I'm sure there have been other teams with three or more sacks, but if you're sacking him three or more times, you're prob there's a good chance you're winning the game. 
Yeah. Eric Armstead can do a lot of damage in this game, especially with the, you know, if, if Toomey doesn't play or is that, am I saying that name right, Jordan Toomey? I think it's Tooney. Tooney, you're right. Tooney. Okay. What we got next, Phil? Uh, the 49ers rushing attempts, 26 and a half over under. Uh, I'll go over. I'm going to go over also. Okay. Um, I'm going to go over as well. Uh, Chief sacks, two and a half over under. Over. Have the I'm going to go under on this one. I am also going under. Uh, Chiefs rushing attempts, 23 and a half over under. I'm going to go over. Okay. I am going over. Jordan. Over. Okay. Will Debo Samuel score a TD? Yes or no? I'm going to say yes. T Debo is, you know, what the honestly, this could be the most biggest power move. Like, do the 49ers when they come out? Like, I, I, what is the bet on songs they come out to? You know, they have that big old boom box. Like, if they did, you yeah. know, you know, should have said no or something by Taylor Swift or something. Can they do something like that? I don't know. But, uh, I'm going with, uh, I'm going with, uh, yes, that he does score a touchdown. What are you thinking, Jordan? I'm going to go no. You're going to go no. And, and then, then uh, Trent, Trent, since yeah. Phil's indisposed at the moment, you want to, you were talking about the Taylor Swift prop. So I have it up. Yeah. So, yeah, number of times Taylor Swift was shown during the in game broadcast over five and a half is juiced at minus 175. So, the juice is pretty heavy on the over five and a half. And then. The Taylor Swift uh, under and over, like the amount of time she's shown, it's at seven minutes, and the under is juiced at minus 160. So I'm guessing they think there's just going to be a lot of like, man, over five and a half and seven minutes means they just, Vegas is saying that every time they show her is going to be almost a minute long. It, it very well could be like, you know, it could be over a minute long every time they show her. Like, I don't, because you have, it's going to be a, st and even with like Patrick Mahomes' dad, the struggles, you know, you know, with his third DUI, like that could be a minute because he's probably going to yeah. be up there. Uh, Jason Kelsey, if he's in the booth, he could be in there. Um, you want to hear Brittany some more Mahomes? wild ones? Yeah. Tell me another wild one. Chiefs to win and Travis Kelsey to propose marriage to Taylor Swift from the field. Plus, uh, plus 1200, 12 to one. Chiefs win the Super Bowl. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey announced they're expecting a baby, 35 to one. Um, <laughs> Taylor Swift and Jason Kelsey to be shown kissing on the screen during live broadcast. That's uh, 100 to one. Taylor Swift is tell say no to Kelsey on a proposal, 10 to one, 100 to one. No, the Jason Kelsey Taylor Swift kissing. <laughs> I could easily see Taylor Swift kissing Jason or Jason like as a well, joke. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't it doesn't specify on the lips either. It just says to be kissing. Wait, nope, I lied. Kissing equals live footage kiss on mouth. Oh, okay, no, oh, there's no yeah, chance. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. But you, you could easily see Jason Kelsey like kissing kiss his on wife the on the cheek, kissing uh, Taylor on the cheek, yeah, and then kissing yeah, yeah, their yeah, mom on the yeah, cheek. Like I could yeah, see that happening, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, all right, we're on number twenty-six, Phil. I said, I said yes. Debo will score a touchdown. Jordan, I believe you said no. Phil, what yep. are you thinking on Debo Samuel? Touchdown? I say yes. Okay. And then will Travis Kelsey score a touchdown? I think you have to go yes on this one, right? You have to. You have to go yes. I think yeah, you have, I have to go yes. yes. Will do Kadarius we, do oh, we what? do we think that you know the Chiefs run a crazy like trick play like they did in week one versus the Lions where they have a Noah Gray lineup under center or whoever it is? Like they I, with this extra week, you think they maybe put one trick play in? They always have some. Oh, there's the answer is sure. yes. The answer is yes. One we don't have on this list that we usually have, and it's a mistake, and maybe I'll add it as, you know, 32 for right now. How many players will throw a pass? Two and we a half. We do have I think it, that's, right? Oh, we do have that? Okay, never mind. Well, you have, will a non-quarterback complete a pass? So, technically, it's not the same. You should almost yeah. replace that, Trent, with the 
Can we replace that one with the over under two and a half uh, uh, players what, attempted what a pass? That? 30. Yep. 30. Okay. Yeah. We can, we can change that to uh, 30 will over be over under two and a half uh, players attempting a pass. So just someone outside of a QB throwing a pass. Yeah. Oh, it could be anyone. It could be, it could be the bad, I guess it could be the backup quarterback, I guess, technically too. Right. Yeah, because it's true. just just over two people throwing a pass, so it could be. Yeah, I'll try to look. I'll try to look for that to see if the books have any uh, qualifiers on that. Um, okay. Um, uh, will Kadarius Tony catch a pass? I'm gonna say, man. Do we think he plays? Like, this could be. He had a great Super Bowl last year. He had the punt return and all that stuff. Uh, Sky Moore's healthy. It looks like Chiefs are getting you know a lot healthier. I'm going to say he said that his Instagram live video where he was bashing the chiefs got altered to say what he didn't say or something. It's a, did you see that Jordan? I see it Trent by giants fans. Yes. He said he was talking about giants fans or something. It doesn't make sense. And then, uh, he also said he's a number one receiver in the NFL when he gets the ball, uh, so I don't know. I'm going to say he catches a pass. I'm going to go with it. And if he gets a pass on him and drops it, it's just great content for our YouTube channel. So go check that out. We'll have a YouTube short on that. I'm sure, you know, I like doing the like this. If you have better hands than Kadarius, Tony, so I'm going to say, I, yes, I love a pass. I loved when Andy Reed was like, Kadarius, Tony said he wasn't hurt. And Andy Reed's like, what? Like, did you, <laughs> yeah. did you see? Like, he yeah. was just like, I'm sorry. Like, I think he was just like confused by the question. Cause it was like, he's like, what are you saying? Huh? Like, it, yeah. do you see his face? Like when you like, I don't know. It Obviously he doesn't look like a dog, but you know, like when the dog has like that confused look on its face, it like tilts its head. Like that is the look Andy Reed gave. Yeah. It was like, what in the, or like Tony Pollard today on uh, Pat McAfee. He didn't know that Dan Quinn was the new coach, of the Washington commanders. He found out on the Pat McAfee show. I don't know if you saw that today. Like he, he had no idea. Like you know, and that happened like six days ago. You know, he has no, no idea. No, you're yes. kidding me. Someone, yeah, on, I mean, he doesn't deal with him that much. But you know, he doesn't. Like, but you would think that someone would have told him or whatever. But yeah, so or he would just look at the news. Yeah, exactly. Or if you read an email from the Dallas Cowboys, like I can almost yeah. guarantee there is an or email that went text or something. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Hey, congratulations. You know, it's been great working with you. Best of mm -hmm. luck. And like, I don't know. Like that is just insane to me. And yeah. was he, and he was, he wasn't trolling either. I don't think so. No. Like he was, yeah, he found out on the Pat McAfee show. So maybe he was doing one of those Aaron Rodgers dark room things. And that was the first thing he did. Post. You know, you can't rule that out these days. You cannot rule yeah. that out. What do we got on 28? So, 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 hold on. Did Kadarius Tony catch a pass? Yes or no, Jordan? I'm saying yes. I'm going, I'm going no. Okay. I'm going yes. Uh, hold on one sec. Oops. The, like I think that another one would be was this even suit up for the game? Like you know, it's just with all the things that've been there. There's there's no telling. Um, you good, Phil? You need me to read them? No, I'm good. Just give me a second. Um, and then uh, will Travis Kelsey uh, propose after the game? I'm saying no. I'm gonna say no. Also, I I'm think gonna someone, go. Yeah, I'm going to go no, too, actually. I think it'd be awesome, but I'm going to go no. There's, you know, usually this is, will someone propose after the game? And uh, I just thought, you know, Travis Kelsey. For what it's worth, one like, most. on that prop, it's like plus 120 on the yes. So, like, it's not that far off that, like, Vegas kind of thinks, assumes that someone is going to propose after the game. Interesting. Like it's, it's like a very... Um, I wonder if I could find it. I think it was like plus 120 on the yes that someone would propose. Yeah. Oh, sorry. 210. Sorry. Plus 210. But still, like, that's not as high as you would think. I don't know. No, mm -hmm. I don't think they're in a relationship that they're going to like, that they're in that far. No, in no. I was saying any player, though, at plus 210. Oh, okay. Like, couldn't you see at least one player proposing on the field from either team? Yeah. No, I, I think so. It wouldn't surprise me. Um, all right. Over two and a half players throwing a pass. Um, I'm going to go. You're going over. 
Uh, I think I want to go over also because, you know, Christian McCaffrey's completed passes in the past. You know, Travis Kelsey, Phil always talks about how he used to be a quarterback. Um, I'm going over. I am going, I'm going, yes, I think they're, I'm going to say over here. All right. Uh, last one, Phil. Last, last but not last least. Last but not least. Who will be the M? Who will the MVP? Who will the Super Bowl MVP think first? I think if it is Brock Purdy, it is God. Um, so I'm going to go. Brock Purdy's going to. Oh man, I don't think Brock Purdy wins it though. I think if they win, it's like CMC. So I'm going. Uh, it's always the quarterbacks, Phil. It, it's always the quarterback who wins the MVP. Yeah, but sometimes if it's like, did Von Miller win the Super Bowl when the Broncos win? Like sometimes it's like, you know, you had Larry Brown for the Cowboys when he had like two pick sixes versus the Steelers. Like sometimes it it is usually the quarterback, but sometimes did uh, MVP win the Steelers? No, Malcolm the- Smith. Malcolm Smith oh. won the, again, when you, for the Super Bowl. Excuse me, the Seahawks years that Malcolm Smith won it. Yeah. So for what it's worth. It's Patrick Mahomes plus 120, Brock Purdy plus 225, CMC plus 450. I'm going to go God. I'm going to say God first because, you know, Purdy, I think, is up there. And if the 49ers win, I think they could give it to him. And uh, Jordan, what are you thinking, family? What has Mahomes said in the past? Does he have a Super Bowl MVP? I would assume he says the same thing. I'm going to go team. I went team as well, Jordan. Um, all right, we gave our score predictions, and uh, let me. Yeah, I was gonna throw this in the. I was gonna throw this as part of the prop bets for just Trent and me. Okay, Jordan, please. I hope you're not upset about this. I go the over on the fact that you were able to catch that mouse that was running around your house oh, yesterday. I- Trent, hold on, hold on, hold on. Trent, do you take the under? Do you take the over? I'm going to say Jordan is a simple man, but he is not a man that's, you know, like, he's kind of like that movie Mouse Hunt. And Jordan didn't talk about this. Did he talk about it on the pod last week? He had a mouse running around in his living room, the whole pod, you know, just dancing, you know. Oh, I thought him. it was on the pod. Sorry, Jordan. I'm sorry. I thought that was, I thought did that you, was on. Did, did that did get brought up on the pod? Oh, okay. oh, yeah, I did he bring it up on the pod. I did. I okay, did. okay, okay. Sorry, no, I sorry. I thought you brought it up. Yeah. Um, over under on mouses that Jordan has, uh, you know, bagged this week, one and a half. I'm going to say under Phil. What are you so saying? One. So, so, so you think it could be one though. One would be the under on one and a half. One and a half would be under. Should it be a half? You want to just go half? It's a half. Yeah. It would be half. I say over. I'm going to go under I, with the contraption that he had. I say over for what it's worth. I put the, I put the, the trap out. I put peanut butter in the trap. No mouse has been caught. Wow. You got to go Slim Jim, man. Throw a Slim Jim in but, there. Just but out I the have woodwork. not seen I have not seen a mouse in a week either, though. So He's I don't living know among you. On. He's living <laughs> yeah, among you. You probably. have not seen said mouse. He's no. been, yeah. Let's see, Phil, like I, I know Jordan. He's not like the hunting type. Like he's not nomadic by any means. You know, he's a nice guy, but... I like watch the movie Mouse Hunt Jordan. That's probably what you're going through right now. Have you seen that movie? Uh, no. Trent, I have a real quick. I have some other uh, other props that I like. Can I kind of go through some? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Yeah, go for it. Um, so we hit. I'm going Chiefs money line. (laughs) Chiefs plus two. The over forty seven and a half. So we got. We talked. I like total touchdown passes over three and a half. I like that one. I like the Patrick Mahomes three touchdown passes at. Plus two sixty. Um, I like the CMC over receiving yards. The Rasheed Rice over sixty six and a half receiving yards. Uh, I like the CMC over the rush attempts. I like Patrick Mahomes over twenty six and a half rushing yards. So then a couple of touchdown parlays here: CMC and Travis Kelsey to both score at plus one sixty three. CMC and Rasheed Rice to score plus two fifty, and then. Some first touchdowns that I think I'm going to put in. I think I like Kelsey six to one, Rice seven to one, Kittle eight to one, Debo seven seven and a half to one. Those are like the the more like realistic ones, and then a couple like a few long shots. I have Noah Gray forty to one. How many times have we seen Patrick Holmes just throw to Noah Gray? Uh, Brock Purdy running one in at thirty to one, and then Hardman 
I feel like a trick play or something, 55 to one, like obviously that's, but that's long shot. So those are just yeah. kind of some other ones. Uh, I like the, I like the Patrick Mahomes three touchdowns at plus 260 quite a bit though. That might be my favorite yeah. one. Well, that's no, I, I like all those. I, I the prop things are you dive into those plays a bunch. I'm so I'm many. always I'm always anti Miko Hardman. Like I just feel like that. But it, like if he had one big play, it wouldn't shock me. Especially well, or or Trent, like a little like weird trick play at the goal line or something. They have ran yeah. one already with them this year. Yeah. No, I I, I don't I don't hate it. Um. I'm gonna go divas, guys. And I, you know, we 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 I'm trying to get divas back. These are things that you know annoy us or we like or don't like, you know. And maybe it's something you know you listeners can tell us, you know, what your diva of the week is. My diva of the week, I'm gonna go with these people that are in there, there's one at every party, there's one in every crowd. The people that come to watch the Super Bowl and they say, Oh, I'm just watching for the commercials. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's the commercials haven't been Little good in 10 years. The commercials have not been good in 10 years. Yeah. Why are you still saying that? They aren't good. Go watch them on YouTube later. You probably won't laugh. That's my diva of the week. The Super Bowl for commercials only person. Like it's lame. Say I'm here for the wings. I'm here for the pizza. I'm here for all that. You know, the jalapeno poppers, whatever. The food. Don't say you're there for the Super Bowl commercials only. Or like the guy like, hey, quiet. Honestly, if you think the ad is good, I, I will be quiet. But like I'm not going to be, you know, you know, in a dark room and, you know, completely pitch silence yep. because you want to watch the Super Bowl commercials. I can rewind it now and go watch a commercial. Most of the commercials are released ahead of time anyways on YouTube. So yeah, the Super Bowl commercial only watcher. That's my diva of the week. And, uh, you know, clip this and send it to your, is you know, send that to your mother-in-law who says that. I don't know, or your creepy neighbor that always winds up at your Super Bowl party every year that you don't invite. And you're like, so I was like, you didn't have another party to go to this year. It's like, yeah, you never have a party to go to. And that's why I almost don't have a party every year. <laughs> but uh, anyways, do you guys got anything, you know, Phil? Like, I, I know, will, you know, you've had your struggles, you know, with double I do dipping. Have one. You know, that is behind you, though. You've gotten it better. Behind me. So. I will say the muters are almost on par. The people who mute the commercials are almost on par with the people who are there to yes. watch commercials like i get it not all commercials are created equally and not all commercials are great and not all commercials are appropriate for children but what i will say is that it's probably during the super bowl about 95 percent of them are so if you mute your your super bowl commercials don't invite me to your house it is a yeah. it is a it is a very ask and answered situation where i will just simply say no if you mute any of your commercials my rsvp confirmation will come with if you mute your commercials i'm out like that's the that's the uh that is the thing i have i talked about this dv yet you I, have but it needs no, to be no, like, no 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 need this, to remind people yes no no i actually have a day i will be muting commercials at my house on sunday so i will not be know, coming i, I, I just have, decided that i have a have i said this one i, I think I'm, I'm losing it a little bit here guys just on this take or in general general people okay. who tell you how many books they've read in a year on social media I it'll be like other one was one, one of one of 45 i don't care and it makes me even matter when they say they read a book and it was an audible book i that is that is <laughs> such fake news i've seen people screenshot an audible book where they said like book 2 of 55 and i'm like you didn't number one, read that book. That's fine. If you want to say that you understood the book, you listened to it. Do not tell me you read a book in the year. If you listen to it on an audiobook. And then also, I just don't care how many books you've decided to read. I will mute those people, you know, nine times out of 10. Like I just, I don't care truthfully. And especially I have no interest in some of the books these people are reading. And it's like, you are reading basically fictional books that have to do with like, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't want to get into it. If it has to do with anything close to something about Harry Potter, I'm almost out. And so if you're including that in your five out of 55 books that you've read, don't it, just don't put it on your social media story. I don't care how many books you read and don't call it you reading a book. If you'd read it on audible, it's okay. If you said that, Hey, I listened to this book. I have a good understanding of it. You didn't read a book. If you listen to it on audible, I'm sorry. It just does not count. Okay, I'm reading the new Hunger Games books right now. The okay, new one. So you're listening to them. And then I'm listening to The Hobbit on Spotify because it's pretty good. So I've been telling people I've been reading two books. So I will update you on how that is, but it's like it's free on Spotify Premium. So I'm like, hey, I'm listening not? to The Hobbit. Yeah, so I've been telling people I'm reading two books at once. It's actually pretty remarkable. 
Yeah. Um, Considering you can't I, read, it is remarkable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, it's uh, it's probably right. he has no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, Phil, that's a solid point about people who, you know, say they're reading books and it's like, oh, they're all on Audible. It's it's a lot different. It, it's not it's so different. It's the same, but not the same. You know what I'm saying? Like you're getting the book, but you're not reading it. You know what I mean? And also, what is it? What is it to you? Like, are you telling us that you you read your your goal is to read 35 books to hold yourself accountable or are you just doing it to flex on all of us like i don't if you're just doing it to nine times out of ten people are doing it to flex and that is like the least thing that i i would flex about like it's i love reading i think it's awesome to read but like i it, it doesn't excite me that you've read you know you you reached your goal of 35 out of 35 books that's great. That's awesome. Like, I think that's great. I'm all about personal improvement. I do that all the time. I'm not going to gloat to everyone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You just told us that you walked five miles in an hour last yeah, week. I don't, and no one believes that that's true. Like, I, I the more say, I think about it, there's no way that was true. So don't talk about personally gloating because you told Jordan, right? We saw him. I've walked five miles today. And it's well, like, okay, yeah, that's not true. And then it's like, I actually got two books going on Spotify right now, The Hobbit and The Art of War. So, uh, you know, trying to be a warrior, Phil. Uh, anyways, but yeah, don't like, don't go after personal gloating when you spent 15 minutes last week talking about walking five miles in an hour. No, I will that. say, I will say, as I heard those words come out of my mouth when I went back and listened to that section of the pod, I was like, what was I absolutely like? What was I thinking when I said that? <laughs> like, there is absolutely no way. So, uh, I'm the diva also for that. I will say, <laughs> Jordan, what what do you got here? You know, mouse I, I don't really have any divas. I love like your guys' commercial takes on the Super Bowl because nothing drives me crazier than I I want to watch the game. You know, I got money on the game. Like, and people are over there talking about this commercial. Like, care less. So, um, no, I, I like that take. Those are good ones. We did get a score prediction from Seth. He has Chiefs twenty seven twenty four. Wow. He must not care about the hot chip challenge anymore, or he's just, so we are a house house divided on the house divided. Yeah. We'll put that flag up at the party. That'll be cool. Uh, Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. We will see you next week. Uh, Football season's already over. It's It's already been, it's over, you know, last, you know, season pod Uh, rip. Yeah. Not going anywhere. Start from the bottom. Now we're here, I guess is what we'd say. I don't even know what I'm saying, guys. We'll see you next week. And as always, take, take care. This has been another episode of the Fantasy Football Dudes podcast. Remember to rate, review, and follow. For more information, go to www.thefantasyfootballdudes.com. And remember, we are sorry for absolutely nothing.